the family to the left ain't coming to our cookouts. The family to the right coming to the cookout. guys welcome or welcome back to my channel i am lawanda michelle if you're new here keep watching you're gonna love it it's all good vibes if you're not new here welcome back this vlog is a prep birthday vlog i'm not sure so okay today is wednesday july 12th my birthday is the 18th and i'm doing something this weekend and then I'm going out of town Sunday to Wednesday for my birthday. So I might just make this one vlog. So this is a prep birthday, birthday vlog. Okay, so today I have a nail appointment at 6. So I'm going to get there at 5 so I can get my pedicure. Because that should only take like 45 minutes to an hour. And then I'll go right into my nail appointment. I normally don't get my um, pedi where I get my nails on it. It's weird, but it's not weird because I know I'm not the only one. But I really don't have time. Oh, I can do it. I might be able to do it tomorrow. No. So I'm just going to do everything with hands and feet today. And I might get my eyebrows threaded. I'm going to the mall. I get my nails done by Abby. She works in the nail salon in the mall. And it's a thread place me and the mall normally go to for our eyebrows. So if they're not closed after I finish getting my nails done... Then we're going to go get our eyebrows done. But yeah, so today, Manny Patty. Uh, I might get a full set. I'm not sure. But that is what we're doing today. That is prep one for my birthday. And it's 4.47. I live five minutes from the mall. So I'm going to literally leave five minutes before five. Well, I might need to leave now because it might be packed. Because that nail salon in the mall be popping. Do you hear me? Um, but yeah, so just keep watching. This is a birthday prep these next two days. Um, tomorrow I get a facial. Um, and then Friday morning I get my hair done. But yeah, so let's go. Hey. Hey. <laughs> 800 uh -huh. for sure. I want to get one. Huh? But. Oh, but you know what? You know it's Amazon Prime. Huh? It's Amazon Prime Day. When? It was started yesterday. Yes, it was yesterday and today. So cameras are on sale. You should get on Amazon Prime. Yeah, you should get on Amazon. If you go to. They're not. It's the um the Sony. Hold on, let me see the Sony. I know. Did you get this one, right? Mm -hmm. You got the set, right? Oh no, I just got the camera. Oh, do you have the lens? The the camera, the lens, a lens comes with, with the camera. Yeah. Yes. Oh, go go to Sony ZV1 because it's one and then ten. That one, look, it's, it's Prime Day. It's on sale. It was oh. 500 and that was 378 Oh, you know, I like, I like 10 <laughs> Oh, you like the 10 <laughs> This one, like, lifted yesterday. I was okay. working out in. What are the kids going to do now to school out for the summer? Um, I'm taking my kids to a trainer. <gasps> Is this their first time? Or? No. Oh. Baby, you don't know what you do to me. Between me and you, I feel a chemistry. I won't let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give, you can't be replaced. So go now, let me know what you do. That's why I'm fine. Spend my life with you. Okay, there we go. Hey guys, it is Thursday, July. July 13th. It is 
I have a facial at 3 o'clock. I'm sitting outside of the venue. So I'm just coming in to introduce today. I got off work. Yeah, we're about to get a facial. I washed my hair last night and I put some twist in it. Because we're going to blow dry tonight for my hair appointment tomorrow morning. So today we have to begin the facial at 3. I feel like I'm crooked. We're getting a facial at 3. It lasts about an hour. Hour 20. Um, I did... Oh, y'all saw I got my nails done yesterday. But... So when I got there... Okay, my nail appointment was at 6. So I got there at 5, like I told y'all earlier. So I can get a petty. But Abby was free. So they went on and... Um, let me get my nails done. Well, that took two hours. So, well, hour and... 45 minutes so um i had to get one nail replaced um the one that had like lifted so at that point i was hungry i was ready to go so when we leave here we're gonna go to the to the nail salon to get a petty and then i have to go to the hair store we're either gonna go to the hair store first or the nail salon but facial I need to get my hair for tomorrow. I need to get my feet done. And then I have to go home and blow dry my hair out for tomorrow. So we got a, a lot today um, going on for birthday prep. So let's go in here. We got five minutes to three. I like to get there between five, ten minutes early. Mm -hmm. okay. And I like the Honey Mass um, collection. Hey guys, so we're not doing like the traditional hydrofacial facial. We're doing a proclinical peel. That's kind of why I still got my clothes on because there's no need to take my clothes off. So let's get it. Cool thing called the Edge, mm -hmm. which is, I don't know if it's the Empire State Building or what it is, but it's one of them tall buildings. And then, like, the floor is glass. And you oh, take the yes! And I do want to do that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, are y'all trying to do, like, a nice dinner? Mm-hmm. Monday night, I do want to do a dinner. There's a couple of, like, hot spots. There's Brooklyn Chop House. Ooh. That sounds really good. That sounds good, because the Chop House here would be good. Oh, I'm gonna go in here and torture cut. I'm pretty sure it's, it's way, way better. better. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like a thousand times Ooh. better, man. Um, Brooklyn Chop House is really good, but that's back in Brooklyn. That's on the other side. We gotta walk back anyway, right? You ain't gonna wanna walk back. Um, After that Brooklyn Bridge walk, you you gonna be wanting to cap it. Okay. <laughs>
Um, it's Friday, 8.35. I'm headed to Target because I need to get an umbrella because wow, the weather's trash. Um, I go this way. Headed to Target. I need to get an umbrella, so I might as well get my other items that I've been meaning to get from Target. And then we're headed to get this head done. We headed to get this head da 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 done da 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 done um so yeah that is what we got going on for the next like four hours why is everybody here oh let's go part. yeah my hair appointment is at nine and it's like 10 minutes away so i could only be in target for like five minutes in ghetto but yeah um that's what we about to do. I don't even got time to shop. I don't know why I came in here. I ain't gonna get it. That ain't what I came here for. Um, um, am Where is happening? Oh. bought I bought this I don't like it I'm going back to native and I think it's the cucumber mint I like oh I think I said I was going to try the method body pure peace we need that we're all about peace ew Try this again because it's a lot happening. Rose water, pink sea salt. I kind of like it. Premium. Oh, I need toothpaste. See, this, I came in here for an umbrella. No, no, no. Oh, they don't have no cute umbrellas. I'm gonna have to get a small one. But I kinda like the big ones. We only watched the first episode. Oh, oh you've been watching it. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've been only seen. Oh, we got. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's good. And I'm coming back in August to get my hair done because I'm going to the DR. So, what I don't oh finish today, <laughs> we can finish next time. <laughs> I think I want Bohemian because I'm going to the DR. So, like, you know. Get, um, you know, human hair Hey guys, got my hair done as you can see. Yeah. <laughs> um, checked into the hotel. Shay still parking. Um, it is almost six o'clock. Dinner reservations at eight thirty. So I'm about to get in the shower. I need to wash my makeup brushes. I feel like. 
Oh, please. Go for production. Um. I got that lid. Um. I need to wash my makeup brushes. So I'm probably about to wash my makeup brushes. Get in the shower. My face still not peeling. But they look cute. Um. Oh, I got this person. So. Um. Yeah, check into the room. I'm about to get myself together. Dinner reservation at 8:30, so we probably go downstairs. I probably call for the car at like 8:15, and then um, get to the restaurant, catch vibes, and um, yeah, let's get it. So I'm back. I just unpacked. Um, and I just wanted to tell y'all what I packed and if I forgot anything. So, over here we have my perfumes, my lotion, and my uh, Patrick Ty body shimmer. This is my makeup area, my charging area for a while I um, do my makeup. My phone's on the charger, I'm watching YouTube. Um, I have my jewelry, watch bracelet earrings necklace for tonight i am an unpacker when i get to hotel so i got my night clothes my clothes for tomorrow my clothes for the night um this is the closet so i just put my bag up i need to hang my robe up because i did bring my robe um this is the bathroom waist trainer on i got my hair stuff for my baby hairs that got to be edge control with the brush my toothbrush, um, water spray, water floss, toothpaste, my sunscreen, because all I can wear is sunscreen on my face. This is the cleanser that I can wash my face with. My toothbrush, more toothpaste, my scarf for when I get in the shower, and my other scarf for when I get in the bed. Oh, and then I got my two body washes that I picked up from Target earlier today. Um, yeah. Oh, and my shoes. Um, these is the shoes I'm wearing tonight. Those are the shoes I'm wearing tomorrow. These are shoes I got on now. Yeah, so. Dead is dead. Yeah. So. I am an unpacker because I just feel like it's easier when you're, even though it's only for a night, even though, even though it's only for a night, I just like to um, unpack. And I actually think Jamal got me into that because I think I used to live out of a suitcase um, when I would travel. Um, like for weekend stuff, I think I pack out of a suitcase. Uh, I mean, live out of a suitcase. But when I was traveling for a living with my job, I would unpack because I would be there for weeks at a time. But, um, so this is the Apple band that I got. Oh, so I ain't tell y'all, but when I didn't even show y'all what I got, I did it for TikTok. So you know what? If you're not following me on TikTok at Lawanda Michelle, then you need to go follow me on TikTok because I do short content stuff there. But I did buy stuff off of um, Amazon during Prime Day. And this was, this Apple Band was one of them. It's magnetic. So you just, you know, it's magnetic. I don't know how to explain it. But yeah, so, and this is pretty cool. I just don't like that. Um, like if I tighten it, sometimes it'll like go down. But I did get um, this Apple watch band, this new tripod that y'all are on. I got, but I'm going to send this one back because I thought it was the extender and it's not. So, um, yeah, after this week, or after this birthday situation is over with, I'm going to send it back to Amazon. Um, so I'll show you. Oh, you know what? I got, okay, boom. So I got this makeup case off of Amazon. I got this brush holder off of Amazon and it's so cute. So what you do is this is the big one, so I probably need to switch it. But let me switch it. Let me put y'all down. 
Let me give y'all a tutorial. Can y'all see? Okay, so your brushes go into the. Oh, I just dropped the brush. Okay, so your brushes go in like that. And then you close it. Okay. You close it. And you can lock it. But you can lock it. And you want to extend it. You can. Then you can lock it. And I like it because, like, if you're going, you know, I think usually you can put it right there. So, pretty cool. Um, for this makeup bag, you just zip it up. Like that, kind of cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. So you just zip it up, and it be like that. But yeah, so um, I need to get this brush. Oh, I thought it was a brush fell. But yeah, um, I'm about to get in the shower. Shay doing something downstairs. All right. Mood slash leave in conditioner. What brand did you buy? Aussie. Oh, yeah. You'll like it. Yeah. Where you buy this Spanx from? I, um, I went to Torrid. Oh. Yeah, I wanted real Spanx. Yeah. I didn't want no knockoffs because clearly I got a lot of wool right now. <laughs> 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 I hope they fit, bro. I'm just so sad. Did they suggest that size? Mm -hmm. That's where she measured me. She was like, how much do you weigh? I was like, be honest with you, I don't know. That's how you know they, they gonna work. Good night. Because um, Lizzo, you you know her brand? When people be pulling them out and they order a large, they be this small. And when they put them on, it be sucking them, sucking them girls in. <laughs> was they expensive? Uh, I think it was like forty. Oh, okay. Yeah. Cause they're gonna last you a while. If this Spanx is the brand, you couldn't see it. She did my measurement. She said, "Okay, thirty-nine." She's like, "Let's see your hips." She said, "Woo!" Fifty. <laughs> <laughs> We. Bro, this other outfit I got for tomorrow that I bought not knowing it was gonna rain. I don't know. I hope it don't rain though. Yeah. It's only like a thirty percent chance. But it's a cutout, so I'm gonna wear my Tommy Hilfiger oh. shoes and it's these red shorts. Yeah. And then the top. The top has no sides. Oh, that's... Oh. So... So I got this uh, sports. Oh, okay. Okay. That's cute. And if that don't work, I got a pair of jeans on the car. And I'll just put on uh, this white. This uh -huh. white on my jean jacket. Line in the front, but behind the ear is the tassel. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, to go with my outfit tonight. You did good. I'm really proud of myself. But I don't, uh, I didn't like how it looked with the none of the necklaces I had. 
I was about to say, you might not even need a necklace with that outfit. Yeah, I felt like it would be clashing. Mm-hmm. The girl I saw in it, she had on like a a cross necklace, like something thin. Mm-hmm. But I was like, I ain't worried about it. Hey, y'all. We getting dressed. But I came on to show y'all my favorite lip combo. It is cork by Mac, of course. Do you got a favorite lip combo? Um, yes, but it's like NYX and a dark brown Uh, I like, well, you know what? I'm kind of torn because at first it used to be Mac, C Cork by Mac, the new brand in Sephora. Mm -hmm. And I like their, uh, I was about to go in there. girl, we could go tomorrow because we got time to work, uh, burn after we check out. And then I also like, uh, Charlotte Tilbury, uh, lip liners. But my new fave is the Fenty, um, you know, she came out with some new glosses, with some new um, matte lips. I was about to say, you in the gloss again? Yeah, no. I'd be back and forth, but I like um, to mix Riri and um, Sea Sweetheart. I like to try to do like an ombre. Mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on like the uh, top lip, top lip dark or light, like the completely different lip color? Have you seen that? Oh, uh, uh. -uh. It's like it reminds me of, it puts me in mind of a uh, Shiva. Mmm. I haven't seen that. You liked it. I liked it. Would I do it? Probably not. Because I don't feel like I have the wardrobe. For a lip. A lip would make it. Listen, it was an edgy, it was a real edgy situation. Mm. do a red lip with my red dress but I forgot my um red lip so pinkish brown it is if you ain't got this you need to get this We about to do a TikTok, y'all. You know? And then switch back to you. So I'm doing this. Then me. You doing this, okay. I'll take that back. Yeah. I'll do the first one. Oh, okay. Yeah. Why? Because I'm going to be dressed. Because you're used to, you're usually calling me an old lady. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> it's more, it's way more fitting. <laughs> way more fitting. Okay. You gotta follow me on TikTok to see the rest.
Okay, so have you ever had duck? Oh, okay. Yeah. So you would eat duck egg rolls? We should ask him um, what he recommends. Well, I mean, he uh, he said sushi, so maybe that's uh, that's majority of the meat. Yeah. Digital really is coming back, huh? Huh? The, the ladies over here are saying digital cameras are coming back. Oh yeah. Why is that? Because a lot of people are doing content now. Oh what? Content creation on YouTube. Yeah. Oh yeah, I mean like she's talking like a di like is that like are you talking about streaming? Oh no no no. It's not streaming. Just like uh because she had like a digital camera like you know like back in the early two thousands where they had digital cameras. Oh those she was saying those were coming back. I don't oh, know. I don't know about those. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know uh, about did you, did you figure out anything? <laughs> Okay. It's only gonna be eight pieces of sushi, is that okay? Are they? I mean, I'm getting an appetizer too. Okay. Are they big or small rolls? Moderate. Moderate. I mean, there there's a lot of ingre like ingredients going on with them, but they're, right. they're not super big for them. Okay. I'm gonna do the um, duck confetti egg rolls. Okay. And then the um, spicy lobster shrimp. All right, and that be all. Okay, all right, ladies. I got you. How to use chopsticks. Yeah. So, oh, okay. So, do you try to pick something up? You should. These are nice. These are nice. I like your writing. How you hold the ink pen? It's moving. Try to pick up a four. Well, it's too you heavy. Pick up a four. <laughs> It'll be too heavy. You do it. <laughs> I pick up an S key. Not you using a fork. Uncultured swine. Bruh. Let's try yours. Oh. I don't think she likes it. Vlogger. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys tell everybody about the restaurant. Do it too. Do it too. Do Chit chat and having girl talk. 
life talk, church talk. Um, but let me give y'all a recap on Orion's roof. The restaurant we went to last night. I need to scoot back for this. Um, can you see me? The vit the restaurant is a vibe. But I do see why people go during the day because it's sunny and you can see it's really good. Like the views is really good. The restaurant's on the 23rd floor. So where we were sitting, the, you, did you notice the, yeah, the, the glass on the back? It was very foggy. It wasn't really a lot of scenery because that was the ocean. The sides to the left and right of us was like the street views, the lights and stuff. So that's where most people like to sit. We was kind of in the middle. I wasn't really tripping. Yes, I had preferred like a glass seat, but I guess those are like special reservations or whatever. But the most important part is the food. Okay, so, hold on. The duck egg rolls, the, cr the egg roll, like the crunch was good. It was filled a good amount. But the duck didn't have no seasoning. I tasted more cabbage than duck. And I guess I was expecting something different because I've had duck tacos before. And it, had, it was cabbage on the taco. And the duck was so flavorful. it You could taste it. This... Them egg rolls, the only thing that made it hit was the sauce that came with the egg rolls. Oh, update. My face not peeling. Good for me. And my skin is looking good. My skin is looking beautiful. Um... But yeah, the duck egg rolls wasn't good. Shay got the grilled corn. Elote. It wasn't even hot. It was like lukewarm. Some places were cold, some places was lukewarm. It really didn't have good flavor to it. Um, then the sushi came out. Hold on, y'all. Then the sushi came out. I got the um the spicy lobster and spicy shrimp. Um sushi roll. Sushi king egg rolls. I mean sushi be spicier. So, the spice level wasn't where I wanted it to be. Uh, but they was good. There was a good a good amount. Well, it was eight rows, but there was a good size. Because some, some egg rolls be bitty bitty. Um, Shay got the surf and turf, which was, um, and these are both cooked <clears throat> sushi. It's not raw sushi. And those was the only two that was cooked. So I got the spicy lobster. She got the surf and turf. And it wasn't good. It was not good. It didn't even look good on the plate, to be honest. So she sent it back and got the shrimp lo mein. And that wasn't good. It was tolerable. More tolerable than the sushi roll. But it wasn't good. I didn't take a picture of that. But the noodles was overcooked. Um, it was a lot. It was drenching a lot of, of the soy sauce. Sodium go have high cholesterol. And high blood pressure. Um, so it's not a restaurant where I'm like, oh, y'all need to go check out Orion's Roof. And honestly, I don't think I will go back. I don't think I will go back. And the couple that was sitting beside us, Hager, if you're watching, they were celebrating their 17th anniversary. And they had came there, 
I think he said February, either before COVID or during COVID. And he got the crab cakes and he said they was huge. So he ordered the crab cakes again and they was itty bitty. He was not happy. They was, they, they, so they, that was their second time going there. So when you go to a restaurant the first time and it's like 10 out of 10 service, venue, food, you're going to want to go back. And then for them to go back on their anniversary and be disappointed was sad. It was really sad. So I'm not going to recommend it, but if you want to go, you can go. Look, if you want to go, you can go. But I'm not going to recommend it. To the restaurant? Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to go. You was your that? drink good? Yeah. Your drink was good? How much was the it drink? Was okay. I don't know. Mm. Mm. Did you talk about the people celebrating their anniversary? I did. I said, if you watch it. Happy right. Happy anniversary. Mm -hmm. They said it was good that first time. That's what I'm saying. And then they went back and it was... Ain't not like a hit and miss, boy. I hate that. I hate when you go to a restaurant for the first time and it's 10, 10 out of 10 across the board. And then you go back and it's like, what happened? And then people will go and they have a great experience and they make it like, I can't eat. Right. Like, I, I ain't had an issue. I did. I did. Now, I, okay, I'm going to say this. If you're going for drinks, like cocktail hour, cool. But you know what? Hold on. No. The, the the white couple sitting to the left of us, yeah. they was tearing their food down. They was tearing it. Why are you laughing? She asked for extra wasabi. She ain't got no taste buds left. <laughs> they order like 10 things, no lie. They was tearing their food down. I don't know, but I, you know, everybody tastes but it's different. That's if you way. understand what I'm saying, it's a good way to say it. yeah. Cause if me and the table to the right of us, we some key in now. Come on, catch it, catch it, and we ain't like it. But the table to the left, that's not our family liked it. That's gonna tell you something. The family to the left ain't coming to our cookouts. The family to the right coming to the cookout. Right. I don't think they knew about life, period. Because, honey, you know, them conversations was it stressful. Was it gave off very, uh, it gave off very abusive. Very what? Abusive. And then, first of all, it took them like 10 minutes to figure out what they was going to order. Because he wouldn't allow her to order half her stuff <laughs> that she wanted to try. He ordered all those things, and I don't think she selected one of them. Oh, really? Yes, he told her what she was going to eat. Oh. That's why I was getting triggered. Oh, I was like, hey, tell me what to eat. First of all, yeah. I wanted this whole menu. Yeah, you don't tell me what to eat now. And it's crazy because when you're sharing, and that's the thing, they were sharing everything they ordered, they were sharing. Yeah. And so it's like, I don't know if he had the mind mentality, well, I'm paying for it, so we're going to order what I want to eat. Like, we don't know them, so we don't know. But it took them 10 minutes to order. Cause they was going back and forth on what they was going to order. But when they got their food, they was knocking it down. He went to the bathroom and was like, I'm going to give you time to figure it out. She, he came back, she had figured it out, and then he was like, we not eating that. <gasps> and I was like, oh no. Oh no. That's sad. See, my problem is, I want a camera just so I can pick up with my Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye. I can't take a camera nowhere. Oh, that's sad. Cause I'm trying to figure out what's going on. If she come up on a new drink, I don't feel it. <laughs> Let that girl to play. Yeah. I was right there beside her. I was right there. He is not real. He is not real. A lot of good. She's a writer. Yeah, but I'm saying like her, like Ashanti. Her song, right? Yeah, I'm going to pick Aaliyah over Ashanti. Missy look good. When she popped back out on the scene, Bro. 
Bruh, transformation. Girl, don't see that's wrong with people. Y'all take other people's testimonies and think it's gonna be yours. <laughs> that ain't always the case, sweetheart. Be in burly. What she? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Alright, y'all, that's our TED talk for today. We about to finish getting ready. Going to the mall because our lunch reservation is not till 2. I know what that means. That means what you're doing right now means that you're ready and I'm not. Hi, I think I'm just Starbucks. What can I get second for you? Yes, may I get a matcha ice latte grande? Are they ice matcha? Yes, with light ice and oat milk. With light ice and oat milk, yeah. alright. Anything else for you? Yes, yeah, sugar-free vanilla. Alright. And that'll be all. Gotcha, that'll be six eighty-six. Thank you. Yeah, I... Oh, the window right here. Let me back up. You gotta get close. I had to get me some Starbucks. Because I'm hungry. Just gonna curb my appetite till 2 o'clock. I don't know what Starbucks she went to. Oh, well, let me throw my window up. Let me get my air. You can get my air. Oh, I was wondering. Mm. This Starbucks, you know how normally when you pull up to a Starbucks, they open the, the door for you? As soon as you pull up, they be ready. This one is not like that. That is not custom. Okay, 686. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. She was like, she don't want to be here today. Oh, that's a shit right there. She did the same thing I did. <laughs> she was on the wrong side. Oh, um, but this customer service is not top tier like the other ones. Come on, Starbucks, y'all is just like Chick Fil A. You supposed to. I ain't gonna say you're supposed to, but y'all normally be jolly. She, she ain't on it today. She just, it's just one of her days. I ain't, I ain't gonna, I ain't even gonna hold it. We all had them days where you just don't feel like being at work. You don't feel like being around people. You just wanna be me, myself, and I. And dealing with customers at Starbucks. On a Saturday, yeah, I ain't even gonna, I ain't even gonna be mad at her. Oh wait, she's just gonna chill on her phone though. Oh, y'all should see this line. It got packed real quick. It's one, two, three, four, five cars behind me. And they ain't even got to the speaker yet to put it. Well, the last three ain't even placed their orders yet. They must be short staff. They want nobody in when I put it. Ouch. That hurt. I hope they feel like working today because it's nothing like getting a Starbucks or a Chick fil or I mean a um, Chipotle order and they did not feel like working. Oh, that'd be the worst. When you get your Chipotle order or your Starbucks and they did not feel like working, that'd be the worst, y'all. Oh, that'd 
that be the worst. Jesus, please don't let that be my case today. Please let me get a Starbucks order. Let my Starbucks order be good. In Jesus' name. Amen. Whew. Let everybody behind me order be good, Lord. Oh, I ain't never sat in a Starbucks line this long, y'all. Thank you. Can I get a straw? Yeah. You having a good day? Thanks. Yeah. Okay. She said she was having a good day. So we gonna take her word. They felt like working. The barista felt like working. I should have got some food. All right, we're headed to the mall. Version passion fruit pina colada. Mmm. Yeah, I'm in it. Let's take a, um, a boomerang. celebrating my birthday in New Jersey we checked into the hotel we've unpacked like I told y'all before we don't live out of our suitcase we unpack and this is home for the next three nights so we're um, we're about to go to the go-kart track and there is Mwah. Lululemon Yeezy's I got this shirt in Miami at a, it was an art gallery? Yep. Yeah, I got this at an art gallery Freedom. like four that. years ago and I'm just wearing it. But don't take them all that. So, yeah guys. Um, this is the kickoff of my birthday with Jamal in New Jersey. Um, so we're going to do go-karts. Dinner, like just go somewhere? Oh, well, we can. They got. They also got food there. It's probably like amusement park food, though. Mm -hmm. I'd rather go to dinner. Yeah. But we need to get a snack if we're going to do that. You hungry? Yeah. All right, guys. Looks like apartments. So. I've never been to New Jersey. I used to go to New York to visit my grandma when she lived in New York. But then she moved back south, so I'm excited. It's like home away from home when I was younger. All right, guys, so I'm about to get my life right, and we'll see y'all later. Me, leave all of your things, yeah. Stop the Gucci, stop the Louis V. Yeah. Call me, fly 
Why you have to grieve? Full speed, so for it barely Don't me, leave all of your things, yeah You stop it, put you stop it, Louis V, yeah Don't me, why you have to grieve? Full speed, so for it barely Speed balls, baby, can make it beat Waves in my ass, smoking weed Cause of what I did on peace, baby Like sweet, baby I ain't stopping You just go get ready We go out, baby All time looking for the Alright, oh, guys <laughs> We are leaving right. What's it called? Supercharged yeah. I did one race, Jamal did two The one I did, I came in 17th but my cart number was 17, so I was in that light, man. <laughs> His second one, he did good. He came in six, so he came did in 12th good. on the first one. Yeah. Y'all, this man hit me so hard, it spun me around. I was facing ongoing traffic. I was so scared. I, and I was on bay. He, I didn't know that was you. I, I didn't, you I, passed me. Yeah, I didn't know that was where, you. Where he hit me at, it was right around the curb where people were like, Start to excel. I was like, please don't let everybody run into me. Please don't let everybody run into me. Whew. But it was fun. Top Golf is literally across the parking lot from Super Surge. So if you ever visit. Supercharged. I mean, Supercharged. So if you ever visit um, Inglewood, New Jersey. No, this is in Inglewood because we had to drive an hour yep, yep. here. Ed yeah, Eddington? What is it? E Eddington. Something like that. It's an hour from Inglewood, but they got a mall up the street, Target. So it's stuff to do out here. Let me show you. Top Golf Live. Top Golf is live. But we're headed home. Well, back to the room. We got an hour drive. See y'all in the morning. Hey y'all, hey. It is the next day. It is Monday, um, the 17th, a day before my birthday. Um, it is currently 12.38. We got up this morning, we went and ate breakfast at this place that's not, it's called Brown Factory Pancakes. From TikTok, I thought it was black owned, but it's not black owned, and the food was not all that, so go if you want i'm not suggesting i'm not really gonna post about it in this vlog but that's what we ate breakfast at then we drove out to arbany to go to the outlets um i got some stuff from lululemon and some shoes from alexander mcqueen but it's an outlet we were just walking around shopping so i didn't record that and i didn't feel like carrying this camera because it is hot but it's the next day i'm introducing the vlog we're headed to um brooklyn um of course because we want pizza get a slice of pizza and we're doing edge that clear building um so i might end up recording on my phone because from like the do's and don'ts they don't accept um video cameras especially ones with tripods so and i'm pretty sure where we're going to park is probably gonna like we're gonna have to walk to the place because it's Brooklyn but um oh so um yeah but that is the adventure for today we're headed into New York like the city city it's hot y'all it's so hot but um yeah, we on the road we on the road, road. you got water so yeah, it's hot.
y'all we're at the edge and Jamal decided to do the climb and this is what he's gonna be looking like look hold on That is not for me. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy the edge, not the climb. Cause we're already a hundred feet up. They're like, no, no, bro. It's a no for me. I like adventure, but that one. I don't, know. I don't know. I don't know about that one, y'all. It's real cute out here, though. You can see, like, all of New York. You can legit, legit see all of New York. It's really nice. It's really nice. But yeah, I didn't take my little solo pictures. I set my phone on a timer because I don't have my... <gasps> Do I have my Bluetooth button? I think that's in my other purse. I won't prepare. Well, Jamal decided at the last minute that he was going to do this. So my photographer is occupied right now. But hopefully he gets to come down and, and we can take pictures together. But yeah. That's what the activity is. We are at the edge. Hudson Yards is what it's called. It's, you know, the shopping levels on the first floor, restaurants. <gasps> Y'all, somebody backwards. Oh. It's no way, bro. No way, bro. Can y'all see? Oh, no way, bro. Oh, <gasps> bruh. I can't. That is great. It's a no for me. I just can't. Oof. I don't know if it's because I can't. Well, Jamal ordered me, but I was okay with just this. He told me, I ain't come all the way to New York, just I did. <laughs> I wonder, is that him? Hopefully, he called my name. Y'all hear him? He did it, y'all. I don't know if y'all can hear him, but he was shouting me out. He kept calling my name. So I was like, I love you, Luanda. And then when it was time to get off, he was like, bye-bye, Luanda. <laughs> it's so silly. But he did it forward. Now they're going to do it backwards one by one. But it's hot out there, so I just came in. I sat out there until he did his thing. I could hear him. I told y'all he was going to be loud because he naturally got a loud voice. So I'm glad I was able to get him. Y'all probably, it looked like a dot on the, on the camera. I don't know. It's hot out there. I was there there for like 45 minutes. He can't say I don't love him. Sheesh. Oh, man, it was amazing. <laughs> hey, I, was, I, was, I was nervous at first, but once you get up there and do the first little bit, it's perfect. There you go. Perfect. 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 <laughs> Take a picture of the person who checked the Jamal and Nawanda took on New York City. 
I was looking for the Ninja Turtles, y'all. Whatever. <laughs> um, the pizza place was good. We just left Vito's, Slice and Isis. Jamal got pepperoni pizza. I got a margarita pizza. It was good. I'm a champion too, y'all. Oh yeah. I survived the edge. I'm a champion. Not me. Not me. But yeah, so we're walking back to the car. We go up to the room to lay down. Take a shower. And Benny Hanna's for dinner. Alright. Bye guys. <laughs> to like massage your feet my my esthetician would be like you need to do this because she said the bottom of my feet is hard these are rough oh no 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 how does it feel like describe the Yeah, those right there. Woo. It's these white ones that Joe Spa. Right? Yep. So the Sojo Spa 
from the clips consist of four floors. The first floor is where you have all your like spot. Where what would you call it's them? Eight floors. It's eight Four, five, six, it's seven. Eight. It's eight. Eight is the garden. The garden? Yeah, they had a garden up there. Oh, on the rooftop. Yep. Oh, but you know what? When I was in the elevator, the lady was pressing that button, and it went. Uh, you gotta walk up to it. Uh, that took a little bit. Up there. It's only seven floors, but it's the eighth floor is the garden. You gotta walk up there. So, floor f level four is called what? That's when you got the uh, different types of uh, baths. You got the silk bath. You got the the foot massage. No, the infinity pool is on level seven. But she also had them on level four as well. What infinity pools on four? I would say the massage, massage. It was the massage pool, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. So feet. And then you had a feet massage pool for me that you walked through. Uh, you had a silk bath, and you had a uh, back and leg massage pool, and then you had a waterfall also so yeah we started off my birthday by going to the sojo spa um it's really like a relaxing ambient like the ambiance really relaxing so level four is where you can get in those pools and you sit in a certain area and it'll either like um massage your lower back thighs ankles like with the water like beating you one of them the water comes and it's beating on your um the top of your neck and then um it was a like a jacuzzi with like a hot tub you can sit in to like relax your muscles and then when we left out of there it, it's a foot massage water path that you can get on and it's rocks that you're walking on is different types of rocks different types of stones so some of them is like kind of flat and you can feel them those ones just easy to walk on which was to the far right but if you go over to the left them where the intense rocks are um ain't do that they they hurt i did and i struggled yeah. i got off that shit. yeah jamal did it for a few steps he he did and it was crazy because when I had got my massage, she was telling me the bottom of my feet is hard. So that would have been something good for me to like continue to walk back and forth doing. But them rocks hurt. The ones that was probably like really beneficial, they hurt. But then when we left the foot massage um, river, that's what I'm gonna call it. We went to the silk bath. The water was nice, skin was soft, 10 out of 10 recommend. And then they have a waterfall, but that water was cold, so we didn't do that. They have a dry sauna. We didn't do that, though. Um, and then we went to level seven, which is the infinity pool. The water, of course, is warm. And you really are, like, on the rooftop of the building, so you can see New Jersey. You can see over the Hudson to New, New York. York. Yeah. It was really... The scenery is bomb. Um, we didn't do spas because I'm traumatized from when we went to Mexico and we paid all that money for that spa, I mean that massage, and it won't all that. So, I didn't do the spa this time. Uh-uh. Because the prices is the same. You get an hour. I mean, it might have been different, but I just, it's not for me. Um, floor, level six is, what was six? Oh, that's where you can do like the acupuncture, and you, eat, um, yeah. and you can. Oh, so that yes, level six bath. is the salt mud bath and the cafe. Now, when I heard mud bath, I immediately thought like how people go to those tropical places and they're sitting in like the mud. But this is more like hot sand. sand. Hot sand. Yeah, hot sand. Um, level five was the massage um, level. Where you can get your, your massage on so we we showered got dressed at the spot after we did it we was there for about two hours and it started thundering and raining so they made people come inside and we had been there since 10 and at this, at this point it was like almost 12. so 
luckily for us we got there early so we was able to explore enjoy like the environment uh oh 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 they be taking over the road here too just like they do back home then when we um left there we went to american dream mall y'all i'm so tired of walking but it's right now the mall is just like big for no reason the shopping part is just big for no reason but you know american dream is where you had the nickelodeon um park and it has an ice skating rink a water park and roller, you know the roller coaster side so we just went and explored that they have a it sugar store that's three levels because American Dream is three levels. So each floor, I mean each level, it sugar goes up. And on the third floor, they have a Oreo Cafe. I, I love Oreos, but I didn't get that because I'm still full. Oh, yeah. I got to go to Starbucks to get my free drink. So yeah, American Dream, it has the regular side for shopping, like Zara, Mango, Aritzia, Express, like all those stores is on one side. And then they have this side called the Avenue is where all your luxury stores is. Um, Saks Fifth. Saks Fifth was open and they have like, you know, the stores in there as well. Cause all the standalone stores aren't open yet. Hermes is open. Her man standalone is open. Saint Laurent standalone is open. And Dolce and Gabbana. But like Balenciaga, Gucci, all them other ones, they haven't opened up yet. So if you just like come to New Jersey, New York area, if you live in that area and you just want to like walk around the mall, they got a nice um, selection in the food court. Check it out. Wear some comfortable shoes. If you gonna go, cause it's three levels. Straight up, straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Hey yo, talk crazy on tweets. <gasps> they don't wanna, cause I come to defeat. They don't wanna. I peep, they need a thousand sweet. We bamboo sticks all in the Jeep. <laughs> it's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the whip. First, welcome to Blue in the Hudson. My name is George. I'm going to be your server. Is that first time here? Yeah. Hi, so welcome. Thank you for joining us tonight. Give folks a little rundown on the food menu here, a little quick tutorial. So all the items you see, starting from the roll bar down to our sides, everything is shareable. Okay, let's come to the table when it's ready. So here at Blue in the Hudson, when we get the order, we get the full appetizer and the entree order. But they both... They, yeah. Yeah. But it, no, no. I put it in all at once, but I'm going to force it out and it's going to come out as half yeah. yeah, so because you're like, hey, you don't come down this way. Like, I'll, the whole order, I'll get it all at once, but I'll force it out as half yeah. as yeah. No, I hate that. No, 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 no. I'm not allowed. Not allowed. I want you to pour, I want you to enjoy each course you know, as, as should. Yeah. Thank you. Any, folks, any food allergies at the table? No. No? Put your folks off with any water, any still, sparkling, tap water? Uh, water. Sure, I can. I can do a mocktail, yes. So the one mocktail I have on the menu is the Easy on Me. What's the drink that has the honeycomb in it? That's the Silver Garden. It's like a similar take on a mojito. Okay, I'm going to get that. Sure. So the Easy on Me. One other one I can do, let's say, for example, a Bay Breeze, but not alcoholic, which is refreshing, you know, for the summertime especially, people love drinking those. I did. That one? Sure, absolutely. Yeah, I'm getting it. It's just the mojito. That's what we had over here. Mojito next. Yeah, but when we got it over here. What you get? Is it a good pasta you recommend, or do you recommend like a steak? The pasta I would recommend would be either the gnocchi or the gemelli. I love that flank. And then the steak, you want to go with something smaller, we go either with the skirt steak or the filet mignon. You can go first. Sure. 
we get that, uh, bone in from the strip? The strip, sure. What temperature would you like to do? So would you pick a steak or pasta? I would say a steak, and if you want to go with a skirt steak? Yeah, I'll do that. Sure. And what temperature do you like yours? Uh, medium well. Medium well, too. Any sauce on that one as well? The truffle butter. The truffle? And what side would you like to do? Um, I do the cream spinach. Cream spinach? Sure. Thank you. Thank you. birthday trip I just wanted to close out this um this birthday vlog I know the last thing y'all saw was um me at my birthday dinner blue on the Hudson 10 out of 10 recommend the food was good that the aesthetics is nice the atmosphere is nice the service was good 10 out of 10 um but uh, yeah I just wanted to Come on, close out this video. Show y'all what I bought myself for my birthday. Cause the like last three years, I like buy myself gifts for my birthday. So remember I was telling y'all we went to the outlets in Albany, New York. They have um, low end and high end stores. Um, I went to Lululemon cause it's the outlet. So everything, you know, is always on sale. So, Lululemon, I got these blue leggings, because I don't have this color. Um, I don't have a receipt, so I can't remember how much they cost, but they was on sale. I got the blue, and then I got this light orange peach, peach looking color. I think these are a little longer than the blue one. Um, I got this sports bra. I'm excited to try this on. Hopefully, it supports me. And I got this um, like tan tank, real cute. Um, so yeah, <clears throat> two thing, two pants, a sports bra, and a top from Lululemon. Then I went to Alexander McQueen. Um, I had been wanting some shoes, some sneakers from Alexander McQueen, but every time I would go to like Neiman Marcus or Saks, they would never have like my size that I wanted. And so when I went to Alexander McQueen, the, um, the one, like the first two pair I had picked up, they didn't have my size. And so he was like, let me see what shoes we had. Like, let me just search your size and see what shoes we had. And, um... And that's how I found these. Aren't they so cute? Aren't they so cute? So cute, so cute. I like these. Um, what I like about Alexander McQueen shoes is, for one, the shoe, like, I'm gonna do details first. One, the shoe strings. I love the thickness of their shoes. I like platform shoes, so I love the thickness of the sole. And I like these. Like at first, I ain't gonna lie, Jamal had picked these out, but in the pink version, I was like, no, I won't sweat. I wanted like the leather ones, but they didn't have my size. And but when he bought these out, this color, I was just like, oh yeah. Because I'm getting into more of the neutral colors and this is a neutral color. And I don't have any type of shoe in this color. Yeah, cause my, my Gucci's are like colorful. So yes, um, and I wear a 838 in, um, in these. 
Then we went to American Dream Mall in New Jersey that just opened like, I want to say maybe a year. Um, um, but then on the high end side, it's called the Avenue. They have Saks Fifth where they have like all, you know, the high end stores. Um, Hermes is a standalone store. <clears throat> and so when I found out Jamal was going to take me to New Jersey, to American Dream, I knew that they had a Hermes store because I've always wanted the Hermes sandals and a bracelet. So that was my opportunity to like go in, try the shoes on, look at the bangles. Um, I've always heard that um, luxury heels are not comfortable. Um, so I've always like, no, I'm not going to really buy luxury designer heels because I like comfortable shoes, whether it's a sneaker, a sandal, or a heel. Like, if I'm going to pay for it, I want to be comfortable. I have friends who have different types of name brand, and their feet be hurting. No. And I was like, yeah, y'all go ahead and buy it. And if it's comfortable, and y'all be like, yeah, then I will go buy it. So, I went into her mess to try on the sandals. Y'all, them sandals... Hard like that. I said, oh, I'm not about to spend all this money for these sandals. And it was an Asian lady um, trying on some Hermes sandals. Some different ones, though. And I asked her, are the flat ones comfortable? And she was like, well, I have friends who, who have them. And let's just say they don't wear them for comfort. No. I was just like, mm-mm. No. So, I was not expecting her mad sandals to be like that. Because so many people have them. I'm In my mind, I'm like, oh, they got to be comfortable. Because people got, like, multiple colors of these sandals. No. No. Right now, I just don't see myself buying them sandals. Because to me, they're not comfortable. And so, um, I went on and bought the, the um, bangle. From the Hermes stores. I, I wore it on my birthday, but it um you know it comes with the like the um it like this booklet it tells you how to open your bracelet, put it on, and how to lock it and how to take it off. Um and then you know they they give you the receipt. So and then they tied it. I'm showing y'all because it's not DH Gate. <laughs> but um, I got the white bangle. I got the white and gold. And so she said every time you want to wear it, you squeeze it in and then you turn the H symbol. Like turn it up and then it will open like that. And when you're going to lock it, squeeze it, and then turn the H back, and it'll lock. She said not to, um, like, shower in it and make sure, like, that's how you open it and unlock it so I won't break it. So, yeah, I just wanted to say thanks, guys, for watching this video. If you made it this far and you haven't hit that red button, go ahead and subscribe. I am being consistent with YouTube. This video, you know, I try to drop videos on Sundays or either like Monday nights. So, I do want to, um, yeah, stay consistent. I do want to start like posting short form content, like the 30 to 1 minutes. So, if you're not like a whole vlog watching person, I'll be able to like satisfy you with my short form content. So, for right now, just go ahead and follow me on TikTok at Lawanda Michelle, L-A-W-A-N-D-A-M-A-C-H-E-L-L-E, -L -L -E, Michelle, not M-I-M-A. That's my name for um, TikTok and Instagram, and I'll just have it in the description, just in case. But, yes, because that's my name for all social media platforms. So, just don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. Be a part of the family. I'm just a little town country girl on on this internet thing with you young peoples. <laughs>
But yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for celebrating with me. If you did. But if you do follow me on social media, you say happy birthday. I thank you for that. And y'all know what? On my birthday morning, like that first hour, I was so like emotional. It was to me like the well wishes from people who I like didn't even think would say happy birthday or like my friends like my best friend made a whole tiktok for my birthday it was in the bathroom emotional the messages i got on my phone from my friends just like pouring into me positivity like this is your year like you know you're gonna do great things you're a great person my brother like posted on facebook it was crazy like he was like, y'all better tell my sister happy birthday, period. Don't play about me. Because um, normally it's just like in the family chat and stuff uh, late on in the day. But when you be getting a message in the morning, like that tells you like people remember your birthday. Or either like when you set your calendar reminder, some people be sending for like 3, 4, 5, 6 o'clock. No, like if people be sending for 8, 9 in the morning, that be lit. Coworkers telling me happy birthday boss it was it was awesome but yeah so i really enjoyed that part of my birthday doing something different with jamal was nice like being in the water looking over the hudson river in new york because we're both from the south like the city up north isn't really us so it was like a Luanda and jamal take on the city it was really cool it was really cool so yeah, okay, because I'm just talking away. But thank you guys for everything. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next video. Bye.